Hello folks, welcome back to Outdoors with Mike. Another cooking show for you. In this recipe, uh, April's 12 cup recipe buns. And uh, you need uh, flour, and you need milk, and a bit of sugar. Salt. I mean a bit of salt, and a bit of sugar, and some oil, and eggs. And here is our um, uh, yeast. We got it all mixed up. What is that um, yeast you use? I like to use active. Yeah, I always use active, active yeast. That's what we use. And here's our flour coming along. Yeah, I always pray. I also always pray for um, your bread, bed, bread to rise. Lord Jesus' name. In Lord Jesus' name, uh, let our buns rise and we'll feed people also. Lord Jesus, let our bun, buns rise in Jesus' name, amen, to feed yeah. the people. Yeah, better said. Oops. All right, folks, stay tuned. How to cook 12, 12 cup flour buns. Yeah, it's very good. Look at that. It's, it's soft. Oh, wait. Wow. Right, there. right there. Okay. Right there. Last cup, folks. Wow. 12 flowers. Catching the log. Oh, half a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. 12 cups. I'm sure you go 15. Uh, do what you usually do. Got 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah. All, um, April's 12 cups of uh, bun recipe. Salt. For you guys, folks, what's a, how much flour is that? Look, look in your hand. This is salt. palmful. Yeah, salt. I just, I don't know. Like a palmful. Just, like a spoonful, right? Yeah. Salt. Spoon and a half. I have small hands. Yeah, a little palm. Yeah, continuing on. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of this. Just a little. Put in your palm. Just like, yeah. just a little bit. Sugar is going even, in. The sometimes I don't even use sugar. But yeah, sugar is going in, folks. We're going to make some buns. The 12, the, the 12 cup bun recipe. The way I cook my buns. <laughs> <laughs> April style. There's the yeast. Okay. So three, three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, you think by cups. She thinks by cups, she said. And each one is, one package is three is cups. 15. The yeast is going in. She's going to make her yeast recipe. Four packages of yeast. Palm full of uh, sugar, salt, sugar, two sugars. <clears throat> okay. Lukewarm okay, folks. water. Lukewarm water, April. Not first. hot, not cold. Lukewarm water. That's it for about half. 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, April said let it sit for 20 minutes till the foam goes to the top. All right, continuing on. It's coming along. The yeast is rising, folks. Nice. Okay. Look at that. Almost to the top. It's good to use a pitcher too. A pitcher? Yeah, if it's a pitcher, yeah. you put this and then you let it rise all the way to the top, this yeah. fluff. Yeah. The longer you let your sit rise, half an hour, maybe even more, it'll take the, you know that yeast smell has a strong smell like yeah. a beer? Yeah. It, if you let it sit longer, more than even half an hour, almost an hour, 
it will take the lots of that smell out oh yeah the smell out my of mom the yeast me that and it works yeah. okay maybe we'll do that we'll let it sit longer but it's not the picture is not big enough i don't know okay. what my picture is all right well, show the recipe when you do your recipe. You can no, let no your yeast things. sit longer and let the beer smell come out. Mm -hmm. So your buns will, won't be so strong of the yeast smell. To let your yeast sit. All right, yeah. continuing on. There's the products we're not sponsored by. All right. Oh, we, we didn't get... Yeah, we got everything there. Mm -hmm. Sugar right there in the back. Yeah, it's foaming up again, folks. We stirred it down. The smell. We waited too long and it went to the top. Uh oh. Oh, we're ready yeah. to put it in, folks. We need a picture. We're going to use traditional. I think it is best you let it sit longer because traditional has a stronger smell. The foam is too high, folks. We're putting in another cup. Yeah, see, this is the right way. Yeah. You let it <clears throat> half a cup water. Yeah. You let it foam up. Yeah, and I noticed if you you, you stir it down it a couple when it, times, when it, when it goes. Stir one more time, stir. So this is our second stir. About 20 minutes, we'll be ready to add it all in. Yeah, one more rise. Okay, folks, it's coming along. We it foamed up. Um, we we from this can it foamed up too much, so we put it in here and stirred it down. Now we're gonna let it foam up for the second time to the top, uh, um, to get the beer smell out, the yeast smell. You let it sit for like at least an hour. It'll get the smell out, so your buns won't smell like yeast. All right, it's foaming up again. The second foam. We'll let it foam up to the top. We transferred it to that one because the foam got too big. All right, it's coming along. Okay, folks, Avril's going to warm up the milk. The next step. About a cup and a half. Yeah. It's about a quarter cup. How much is it? A quarter cup. A uh, cup and a quarter? Cup and a half. Cup and a half, folks. A cup of cup and a half milk, folks. She's gonna warm it up. Two twenty. She put it in for. Warm milk is the best. She said. Mm. All right. The oil's going in. So like three cups of flour, one quarter cup oil. Three cups of flour, one quarter cup oil. So on. So nine. Twelve cups. Get it? All right, couldn't be better said. It's coming along, folks. Three cups the, of flour, one egg. The three cups of flour, one egg. So we need four eggs. One egg for three cups of flour. Yep. And then you'll stir it. And what? What is the? process you're going to be doing i'm going to add about yeah we'll half get half a cup of hot water for each three cups of so two cups of hot water about all right she's getting the flour ready what do you put in the flour again sugar eh? and salt salt mm -hmm. oh it was at the beginning of the video you could see it she's making it well all she's right. getting it ready all right the melt's ready to go Actually, all right, April's mixing it up. You don't want the eggs to cook. So you stir it. How much cups of water? About two cups of hot water. Two cups of hot water. That's a okay. hot, hot ingredient. Okay, folks. You gotta do it fast or it's gonna cook, she said. She got the eggs in. Now the yeast is going in. Oh, it'll be very delicious. Mmm, I can smell beer. I need a little bit more water, so maybe another cup of hot water. That would be about three cups of hot water. 
She's getting more hot water. She's working it with it, working with it as it goes. So two more cups of hot water, I think we'll just be right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how much in total? Four cups of hot water. Now she'll mix it up and make her dough. Is that muscle left? No? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> All right, it's coming along. See, our dough is a little bit wet, but that's okay. Now we're going to add some flour so to... We'll start with a cup of flour first. To get the stickiness out. Maybe that might be even that's all we need. Yeah, you there. keep putting flour till it's a perfect dough. Well, you work with one cup first. I'll help April. It's coming on. Now, folks, you have to use your hand for the last one to get it perfect. You keep working it to the middle. Oh yeah, your dough should be nice and warm. Like nice and warm, nice. Yes. This is. Yeah, she's putting more flour as she needs it to get the stickiness. It's gonna make a perfect dough. Just the way I taught her. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh my god, April fools. <laughs> um I went to Upper Hay River cooking school. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. it's coming along. Oh, yes. look at that door. I could just see it. Yes. Look at that. It's yeah, getting punched. Pretty. We're going to let it rest. Yeah, nice. We'll let this rest. Yeah. And rise. rise, eh? How long you usually let it rise? Uh, Till it just pops mm -hmm. right up? Yeah. An hour. About an hour? Maybe. An hour and a half? Maybe like 45 minutes. Punch yeah. it down. Let it rise again. 45 minutes to I an hour. I let it rise two rises. Two rises? Yeah, two oh. rises is always Oh, best. yeah. Then oh. I pan it. Then I let it rise and it pans again. Okay, we'll have to have see how you do that. It'll be very it. educational. All right. Well, let it rise, folks. All right, folks. Avril cleaned her bowl. She was mixing in. She put it in here. Now she her, her bowl clean again. She's getting the next step done for us. Thank you, Avril, for showing us the 12 cup recipe. Nice, it's going in. She's gonna work the dough. Oh, it looks so, oh, this looks beautiful it'll melt in your mouth <laughs> yeah nice all right it's coming along next step cover it with a towel or even a plastic bag all right. yeah you covered with a towel or a plastic bag a um do that also that's how the it's done yeah covered with a towel or saran wrap what do you have? I'm out of saran oh, wrap. We're out of saran wrap. We got a clean so um, plastic. This oh, that even works good right is, over it. This is a um, perfect seal. This is a real. This is real. Keeping it real, folks. Keeping it real, yeah. <laughs> Twist it. Yeah. Tuck it on there. There. Oh, no air at all. Oh, I think that's Lord. the best way. God, Lord. Please there, I God, wouldn't have never thought of that. Bung so we can share with people. Amen. Let her sit and rest now. Yeah, let it rise, Lord. Oh, yeah. It's coming along. It'll melt in your mouth. Keeping it real. We're going to let it rise once and beat it down and work it. And second rise. And and then on when our second rise is done, April will prepare it for the oven. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Just the way I taught her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming along. All right, folks. It's been 45 to an hour. So take off your saran wrap or tea towel. <laughs> or garbage bag. <laughs> Keeping the real again. Keeping it real. Oh, it it's it's better, rise. Man. 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, make sure clean. What, did, what yeast do you prefer again? I like using active, but this active is... Active yeast, okay. It doesn't okay. matter. Okay. It's just... Yeah, she'll show us what to do. 
Oh, look. Your, Educational. Your dough should be nice and warm. It's really nice and warm. That's what's making the rice come along faster. Nice. Okay. And oh. it doesn't smell like yeast. So much, eh? Yeah. We let oh, that she's... yeast sit for an hour. It's good. She's, uh... She's um, getting it ready for the second rise, folks. The first the rise first is done. One, you wanna you wanna work it a bit, your first one. Get the gluten moving in there. You gotta get those glutens moving in that flour. That's the whole thing for fucking honey. Yeah. See now fucking donors and flour? Just a little bit. Yeah. I seen that guy at pizza, he just did a little bit and left it, even though it was like that. Yeah, he just a little yeah. bit and leave yeah. it. Because you know, when it gets sticky, yeah. Yeah. see? Yeah. Little air pockets, you yeah. bust them down. We're not making pizza though, we're making buns. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the reason of this? What? This? Of doing that? Is this how it's done? Yeah, I don't know. It's something about gluten and flour. That oh, just oh. It's how it was oh, taught. you. I think you make the the yeast work more better, eh? Something like that. It's just a little bit of oil going on. Granny Young taught to me. make it. Uh, yeah, and let the oil gloss go. it. Yeah. Well, no, so it don't stick, you know. Oh, so it don't stick. stick. Oh so yeah, the way it touches. Our second rise, see, it's nice. Yeah. See how it pops back up? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Wow. And Thank you say you, your Lord. prayer. Thank you, God. Give us some good buns. We yeah. share with people. Put your garbage bag on, the clean one. Put your saran wrap. Clear one, for furry. For furry? For furry? For furry. All right, yeah. second rise. Thank now, second rise. Second rise is looking done, so we're going to open We're going to pan them now. It's been an hour. And a half for so 45 minutes each rise. First rise was 45 minutes, second rise 45 minutes. This is after our second rise, and it's gonna rise one more time in the pans. That's how your dough should be. See, nice and stretchy. Nice and warm dough too from the plastic. Good warm dough really helps the the <coughs> rising process. And like having fluffy buns, well, it helps me. So, see, it's really nice and stretchy. That's what you want. Now we're gonna oil some in our bowl. Here, Tam. I'm gonna put some in our bowl. I'm gonna oil my well-seasoned um, pans. Try and get you some nice, good. Well seasoned pans so your buns don't stick to the bottom. There's nothing like when you try and cook some good buns and you can't take it out of the pan. Try and get you some good seasoned pans. These ones are strictly for my um, buns, these pans. Nice and oily. Not crazy oily, but good enough. Yeah, I even oil the tops because I try and make big ones so it'll come over and won't stick on the tops. Oil your hands. Nice sharp knife. Oil your knife. Okay. Well, first we'll work this a little bit. A little bit. Just keep folding to the middle. Turn your pan. Fold to the middle. Turn your pan. Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Put your muscle into it. So it starts ripping. That's when you know it's done. Flip it over. Thank, thank her again for some good bread. Always give thanks. It's not big enough. Here we go. Here we go. Pull it 
pull to the middle, put your thumb, pull to the middle, put your thumb, pull to the middle, thumb pull, thumb pull, thumb pull. And then at the end, start rolling it in your hands, gentle, see, flipper, beautiful. Put it in there. These will make some big fluffy ones. Little bit of oil on top. There. Like that. You're going to do that for all of these. I'll show you one more time. <clears throat> Grab a handful. Pull to the middle. Right. Thumb pull. Thumb pull. Your thumb in the middle is help hold this down when you pull it over. See? Oh. Starts ripping, that means it's good, good enough. Flip it over. Perfect, a little bit. Good. One more. Pull, 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 pull. Pull and pinch like, pull and pinch, pull and pinch. See, you can hear those little air bubbles. Get all those air bubbles out. See, perfect. Yeah, we're gonna fill all those and then we're gonna cover it with a plastic wrap again. Cover it with a plastic wrap or a towel till they're nice and fluffy. I'll show you when, next up. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. This is what's left. This is a probably about a couple more dozen for sure. We're gonna wrap this while we, we don't, I don't have no more pans, I need more pans. But that's good. So, and then I'm gonna line these up on here. Oh, these are the last two. These were the first ones. Hmm. Oh, we got a couple big ones already. So, Okay, so this one was first. See how it's, you can feel the air in there. You can see the air in there. It's supposed to come up, but once you put it in the oven, it's gonna go pooch. So these two will go in first. So these are gonna sit under a towel for about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna, <clears throat> are we gonna preheat our oven? Yeah. While it's um, rising, we'll get this on about 400. It's just, you want to cook it kind of 375, 400. The cooking part is the <coughs> crucial part. Okay, what we got? It's been 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. We're going to get these two in because they're the fluffiest, right? Look at them all. See? So these two are ready to go. See? Softest, airiest. By the time these are done, these will probably have enough air in them to go in. Going to go in a nice hot 375 oven. Put them in, check on them in about five minutes. Once the bottom, I see brown edges. When I see brown edges and they're nice and fluffy, then I'll broil them, just to brown the tops. We'll be back. So they're getting too hot, so I took them out. <clears throat> but the bottoms are brown. And I'm just gonna turn my oven down to 350 because this apparently was too hot. And put these back in and we're going to put them on broil. The bottoms are cooked. The edges are brown. You can't see, but it's under broil. Couple, watch it closely. Couple minutes. Time is two minutes about. We'll be back. Two minutes. Is it broiling? <clears throat> see, you gotta turn them. Turn your buns around so they get brown on all sides. Coming along, folks, as the good Michael would say. Okay, one more minute. They're perfection. We got it. So let them sit in the pan for a few minutes. If you can butter in the tops, if you can eat them right away, you can butter the tops. But if you're not, don't butter them. Get the next one in. But yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right, folks, the buns are coming along. The last bunch are gonna go in the oven. There's a few left. Yeah, it's very, 
It's very squishy. I open a couple for you to show you the middle. Look at that. Here's another one. I'm going to eat these two. Here's a whole one. I always use active yeast. Um, it rises more bigger. Yeah. Hope this video was educational. How to cook the 12 bun. Uh, how to cook the 12 cup uh, buns recipe. Avril style. All right. Thank you. Bye for now. There, perfection. We got it. I'll let them sit in the pan for a few minutes. If you can butter in the tops. If you're going to eat them right away, you can butter the tops. But if you're not, don't butter them. Get the next one in. But yeah, there you go. Thank you.